This is an eight foot Duratec pram. They were made in the 1950s, late 50s, mid 50s to the mid 1960s. I'm not sure what year this particular one was constructed, but they were made in Pleasantville, New York. This is the most seaworthy little boat you can imagine. It's unbelievable. I've taken this boat across Long Island Sound from Greenwich, Connecticut to Oyster Bay. I've gone out four miles off Long Key State Park from Long Key in the Florida Keys, believe it or not, fishing for Mahi Mahi Dorado. I've been in Lake Superior in this in Wisconsin. This thing is pretty amazingly seaworthy for a, a little boat. It was constructed by a man who had worked as an engineer for the, the aircraft industry. And I just want to lift the hull of the boat up so you can get a good look at what's underneath. How it's made. I'm going to do another video on this at another point in time. But people might be absolutely stunned. This is not a boat made today. Not a rowboat made today that will be as seaworthy as this. I had a four horsepower Evan route on this little boat and it flies, man. With one person, with one man who weighs 200 pounds, this boat flies. I don't know how many knots exactly. I'm guessing about 13 knots, 12 knots, but it's pretty amazing how fast it goes. And it's amazing how seaworthy it is. It's very it's the engineering. If you look, Fred, what would you call this? A flange? Right here on the outside, the bottom, this part right here. An extended bottom. An extended bottom or something, or flange. But this thing has something to do somehow with the seaworthiness and, and the way it propels. It's amazing.